Welcome to the September 2010 video edition of JDC Diabetes Gems. Let us have a cheerful discussion this month on how we can reduce the cost of treating diabetes, how we can effectively cut short the treatment cost in diabetes. Everybody will agree that when diabetes patients are successfully and fortunately living longer, unfortunately they develop complications if not being treated properly or not followed the instructions properly and they succumb to multiple complications resulting in several fold increase in the cost of treatment. And I am going to provide you a couple of tips on preventing this catastrophe. Diabetes is asymptomatic during the initial 8 to 10 years of its onset. However, the patients should have the knowledge and the common sense once diagnosed to accept treatment. Initially, the treatment of diabetes can be with simple exercise, with metformin or if required with insulin shots. But it is meaningless, it is baseless. If you go on doing some laboratory investigations, you find out that you have diabetes, but you are simply following up without any therapy. The second and the most important treatment which is extremely cheap in diabetes where you don't need to pay anything is exercise. It is the cheapest modality of treating diabetes and also for preventing diabetes. Number three your friend or your relative or somebody will tell you that there is a treatment which is available which will cure your diabetes. Never ever go for unproven, unscientific therapies for diabetes. It is fairly common anywhere in the world. The unproven therapies will have lot of side effects. The unproven therapies may temporarily arrest diabetes or your investigations may prove normal but subsequently diabetes will lead on to multiple complications. Never do that. In the treatment of diabetes, insulin injections are absolutely essential at some stage or the other. Let it be yearly in diabetes. Insulin is life-saving. Insulin is cost-effective too. So if your doctor suggests that you should be put on insulin, immediately accept it. Delay in initiation of insulin will again escalate the cost of treating diabetes. Are you monitoring your blood sugar values or do you think that the glucometer or the uh, strips used for the measurement of blood glucose is very expensive? It's rubbish. If that's your thinking, please remember blood glucose monitoring when carried out frequently and when the blood sugar values monitored with the help of a sensitive accurate glucometer is used for the modifications in the dosages of medicines, diet, exercise, etc., etc., will probably totally prevent other comorbid illnesses in diabetes. Extremely cost-effective treatment. We ourselves in our research papers have proven our diabetes telemanagement system which we introduced way back in 1998 which includes a multidisciplinary team of doctors, dietitians, diabetes educators, psychologists, pharmacists, 
working with glucometers, uh, telemedicine, etc., is extremely cost effective in the long run. And if you are to treat with multiple medications in diabetes according to your doctor, again accept it. Your blood pressure, even if mild, requires treatment. Even if your cholesterol is normal, you require medicines to reduce your cholesterol level, that is to prevent heart attack and strokes. And imagine a situation where the diabetes patient is developing heart attacks or strokes or kidney failures or neuropathy or erectile dysfunction. You may have to treat all these illnesses. So instead of having three or four preventive medications, you will end up consuming more than 10 or 20 medications, which is fairly common. There is a no mild, moderate or severe diabetes. Diabetes, if it is there, should be treated. And that treatment, as I have told you earlier, should start on the day of diagnosis of the disease. At your office or at school, Always tell others, inform your friends and co-workers of your status being a diabetic. Never keep diabetes a secret. If you don't disclose that you are a diabetic patient, your friends or your relatives may overfeed you. And disclosing your diabetes status is probably one way by which you can cut the cost of future vision. In time, saves life. Even at the slightest suspicion of an infection in the lung or the foot, consult your doctor immediately because infections in diabetes can be really terrible and troublesome. And Treatment of foot ulcers, resulting in amputations, long hospitalizations are quite expensive. And if you believe that your cost of treatment of diabetes is now very, very high, let me tell you, it's not because of faith, it is because of your ignorance and laziness treating this disease, especially during the initial five to ten years. So let us work together to cut short not only the complications of diabetes but eventually the treatment cause in diabetes. Until next month, goodbye from JDC Diabetes Team in Trivandrum, India. Bye-bye.